Hi, this is Alexandre, and in this video, we are going to unbox the new Lenu or Volantex RCS FPV Raptor V2 Bird. This FPV airplane you have seen the FPV Raptor from Lenu or Volantex RC now before in my videos, and then I have tested the another FPV Raptor with this new motor mount, which has the upward thrust angle and it comes with the folding propellers now. So now this thing is in production from Volantex RC and they have just released this V2 in this sweet drone color scheme, the gray one. Very hard to see in the skies, but if you're flying FPV, you're not gonna watch the plane, you're gonna watch the FPV feed from the airplane. Well, this is a very good FPV airplane now according to Volantex RC I haven't tested it but I'm gonna test this one with the uh, FPV system on board this time however I just see that they have also released the FPV Ranger which I have just reviewed and I have also received the production the very first production model of FPV Ranger from Volantex RC I'm gonna show you this one in a separate video very very soon so let's unbox this one and then we will prepare this one uh, FPV Raptor V2 and we'll see what kind of plane it is how it looks what are its features and we'll go and fly it and probably do the FPV on FPV Raptor V2 and then Ranger as well to see which plane actually suits best for short range and long range FPV flights. Here it is outside the box occupying my bed. Well, at the moment, uh, my other rooms are totally in a mess with Irish toys and stuff. This is the only cleanest room so far, I would say. So I uh, will put these things uh, together. Hold on. All right, here we go. Once again, totally unassembled. Now let's look at everything one by one. The first thing that we want to look at is the new motor mount, okay? So this motor mount is angled mount, all right? And it's actually kind of a plug and play to put on and off. You can see right here. So it should actually fit on the older models as well with a little DIY maybe or maybe plug and play, I'm not sure. But for now, this will fit plug and play on this. Motor is nice and heavy and Volantex RC has supplied us a 40 amp ESC this time, which they're going to use on a Ranger as well. Here's a folding propeller. I gotta see if it's balanced or not. Rest of the things, the vertical stabilizer and horizontal stabilizer, rudders, elevators, and the wings, simply superb. They have colored everything, including the servos as well. And this model actually is gonna use the flaps with the ailerons as well. Hmm, nice. Assembly should be very straightforward for this model because there's no glue required and it's just the screws and uh, fixing these things together and uh, all the parts will come together very nicely. The, the step that actually will take more time for me to set up is to put in the receiver and set everything up. Well, I'm willing to do it for this beautiful bird. Of course, this looks really nice. Let's see what's inside the canopy. Come on, baby. Ah, no, I didn't break it. It's the way it is. All right. So you have a lot of space to mount your camera and FPV equipment right here on top. Okay, and if you don't want it, you can actually cut it off if you want. And inside, let's see, uh, I have to struggle with one hand, okay. Right, so inside we have battery space and a little space to put your hand in and fit some of this stuff but if you want to put the autopilot the best place is here you can put your autopilot here and set it up before closing it down I mean uh, all the stuff so set it up nicely test everything and then put the wings on on top of here so yes to set the autopilot this is the best place in the center of the fuselage okay and uh, batteries and other stuff will stay here. Now, uh, previously, honestly, I had a lot of trouble seeing that this plane gets extremely nose heavy if you put in a 14.8 volt batteries in there. 
it was a problem before. I have, I'm hoping that the Wallentex RC has solved this. The key is to keep the plane lighter using the lightweight battery. So for example, 4S3300 milliamp battery can give you a lot of flight time and at the same time can help you keep the nose lighter. However, you might want to uh, mount the battery a little backside here to keep the nose not getting uh, from getting the nose heavy. All right, and rest is why it gets nose heavy because we mount a lightweight battery on the front and then we put this up and then we mount a GoPro here which actually eventually gets gets the plane very very nose heavy. So yes, to fly this plane completely balanced you have to be very tricky. You have to install your uh, lightweight batteries a little backward and then balance the CG after installing the camera on the nose, move the battery forward and backward and of course you have to add your video transmitter at the back side to balance the CG as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, prepare this plane and then I'm gonna use some lighter weight batteries and I'm gonna keep all my weavers posted how my experience goes with it and how I made it completely CG balanced not nose heavy. So this is FPV Raptor V2 stay tuned I'm gonna post the uh, build well there's nothing to post for the build video it's just putting these things together but it's still if you want I can try to put a post a build video or assembly video for this plane and then uh, we'll go and give it a flight. Enjoy and more videos coming.